Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and this year I'm participating in the Advent Calendar Extravaganza, and the sponsor today is Sugar Pea Designs with the prize. And the Advent Calendar Extravaganza is the festive event of the season. This hop with a twist was dreamed up by Tahira Achia. I think that's how you pronounce her name, and features surprise destinations each day. So join in the fun because there are 100 special guests. Everybody's going to be serving up fantastic Christmas inspiration. Just like an advent calendar, you'll never know where you're going to be visiting until you open the door. There's also 25 amazing sponsors, lots and lots of goodies to give away. So go check it out. Link in the description. When I found out that the sponsor on my day was gonna be Sugar Pea, I went shopping and I got this cute lantern and this little shepherd and I was hoping the shepherd was going to fit inside the lantern. I didn't look at measurements and he's a little big. So he's gonna be a reflection on the outside of the lantern instead. So I've die cut it and I've taped it into my Misty so I can stamp just his little face in there. And I wanted to make it look like a reflection, which means it's not gonna be a solid image. There's gonna be some highlights around it. So I'm wiping off a few portions of it, stamping it lightly, and then I'm gonna go back into the middle and put a little bit more ink in there so I get a little heavier image. And then I wanted a little bit, little tiny bit showing of the, the shepherd's crook so that I could get that colored as well. So I set that aside and took the outside piece outside of the lantern that I cut out and I'm coloring my scene on it because everything has a scene in my world you know you guys know that and I'm just going to color some green some lighter green at the bottom darker green at the top you could do either direction doesn't really matter we're going to put a lot of snow over it so I'm just going to throw some color on and let it blend as well as I can blend it and not stress out about it now the lantern itself I decided to just throw some colors in as well. I'm not going to stress out over that because when you're making something that's metallic, you can get really hung up in it. But I want to show you just how easy and quick you can just kind of throw colors on here, doing a little bit of purple, and then the rest are all grays. And I'm just throwing color on. And it's going to look like shiny metal. So if your dye, something like this, has enough detail in it, really that's going to carry the idea that it's metallic. And there's a few pieces in the die set that are going to add on to it. There's a little piece at the top where those little holes are where I can add a little extra detail with that piece of die. There's one on the handle at the very top and then there's a wooden base. So it's going to have enough pieces that I can really do something cool with it. And putting a little bit of brown in it makes it look a little kind of rusty, which I think is just really going to work well for this particular card that I'm going to make because I just wanted some color on here and I'll fit that into the hole in the die cut. And that is be creative tape on that piece of paper, by the way, that base piece of paper. So everything's going to stick in there nicely. And I use my little quick stick to pick up the other pieces to put in here. For these side ones, I wanted them to continue that scene in the background. So I marked where they were, didn't press it down very well because this tape is super sticky. But I was able to just throw some green color in those. And now I'm going to slow down so we can do this at just 200 speed instead of 400 speed because I know it's hard to watch when you're seeing like things go flying by. But I figure most people aren't going to really do all the stuff that I'm doing right now anyway. So if it's a little fast, it'll probably be okay. So I'm going to color his skin and give him a little bit of a shadow on one side with my purples as I like to do because that's how I roll. If you haven't watched my videos before, don't be frightened when you see purple in the skin. That's just something I do that makes it look more realistic. And I'm gonna give him a green little coat and I'll put a little bit of green background behind him because if this is gonna look like a reflection on there, the green in the background can be just a little tiny bit at the, the top over his head so that there's it looks like there's a little bit of reflection of green trees. Do a little darker purple in with my brown to try to make his hair a little darker. And I'm trying to let that part where his hand is on the crook of the, the, or the shepherd's crook be a little bit lighter because I want that to look like there's a highlight going over it. I want that to sort of disappear. Just working on putting a couple colors in here, a little bit of green polka dots on the little shepherd's, um, what is it called? What is the thing called on the, the, the shepherd wears on his head? There's gotta be a name for it, right? It was always Shepherd's costume. <laughs> There's gotta be something. Tell me in the comments. I probably should look these things up before I start doing voiceover, shouldn't I? 
So here's a little bit of that green in the background. I put a little purple as reflections around the outside. I started using that G000 and went, ee! That was just way too bright. I was not expecting it to be that bright. Not a good thing. So I did a little bit of other colors around it to try to take away from that fact that I put that crazy, ridiculous green in there. And then I'm going to take my zero marker and go over some of those areas to sort of soften out the blending on them just a little tiny bit. And then I decided I wanted to strengthen up some other colors. So there's the, the green robe. And I thought I would strengthen up those colors a little bit. Just put another layer on there. With Copic markers, they kind of dry out as they as the ink starts to disappear. Or the, uh, the alcohol starts to evaporate, that sort of thing. So your colors do get light. That's just the thing that happens. And going over them so sometimes several times for me is what makes the image look like it has a lot of contrast in it. So he's starting to really appear in here. I think he's adorable. What a cute little stamp this is. Um, I have I used to have another couple of sugar pea designs that I got from a local store. I haven't ever shopped with them online, but this time I did. And they send really cute packaging. They have cute stickers on their packaging, by the way. And I'm into things that are sweet and they're all jokes about sugar and sweetness. So that made me entertain when I opened the package. And here's those other pieces that I was talking about that are in the die set. And there's that black por portion on the top, as well as the handle on the very, very top, that dark handle. Those are all pieces that you can glue on. And so I used some dimensional adhesive for the wood on the bottom, but I just used some glossy accents to stick those other two on there. And then I'm using a Sharpie. And it's a white Sharpie that is the medium width. It's not the little teeny tiny one. It's a little little bigger one than I had before. And I'm using really close dots, like tons of snow in the background and less over top of him because I didn't want to cover him up so much. But I'm putting more dots over the wood portion here because that doesn't matter a whole lot. I just didn't want a lot on his face. So I just put a few over his face. And hopefully nobody will notice the difference in having a lot of snow behind him and just a little snow right over the front of him. The inside of the card, I stamped my sentiment and then I did stamp the, the little sheep that goes with him. He's, it's in the same image as you can see, the shepherd and the sheep together and just cut that out to put on the inside of my card. And that is it. I mounted it onto a card base with a little dimensional adhesive and there's a little dimensional underneath my sheep. I think this came out like a really fun little card. I hope you enjoyed it. I made this a quick video so you can get on to going to, to hear his blog and seeing all that there is to see. And I will see you guys later on in the next video because you know there's more creativity coming at you. If you haven't subscribed yet, do that. Make sure YouTube sends you the email so you don't miss anything. Bye-bye.